Hello everybody, we're back to another video and today we are playing The Quarry Part 2. Um, we are going to do a lot today. That's all I'm gonna say. And um, also, um, Juniors is coming out the 17th, so you'll see that when that comes out. Just letting you all know. Here we go. Why? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. He's dropped. What are you talking about? What? Because kids are kids. Don't only do so much, you know. They're almost I'm out of here, alright? Just, just hold your damn horses, alright? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. You hey, what? Yeah, of course. Adios. Oh, go. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't really listening. I, I was just, like, He's waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... Uh, I mean, I, w I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it! I'm so lost. Uh, frustrated. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a I'm successful sure summer camp. I'm still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh. Terrified kids are bad for business. Yeah, those two people. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb sucking, bed wetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the. The, the Hagger Hackett School. Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. It was just a little fun. Yeah, it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. This... I mean, we are. You cut me off. This story's definitely true. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Yeah, why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. <laughs> just give me a minute. Good goddamn, are they? Why is he sweating? That's blurry. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what yeah, she I wants to do. That. She's got her whole life ahead of her. If they both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? 
actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. So, uh, he actually believes that's true, or like he knows it's true, son? Apparently. Make sure they're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I, I never turned it in. You sure to turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ah. Oh. Dude, I don't know. I, yeah. I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah dude, it's that. just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. <sighs> the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come all on. Right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Come on. Everybody back. back! Now, now, now! Jacob, wait! Wait, wait, wait! I got this! He's guilty. He's got one. Ah, oh, jeez! Dude, I was trying to help! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Mm. Let me think. Yeah, it, it has to be true then. <sighs> He's mad. Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Oh, he's good talking about the thing, and it's actually true. So. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock yeah. the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are, are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. 
If we follow it, because like I'm actually scared. No, like, no, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Because like definitely. Of course. Uh, Who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not something. our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's okay. in, obviously. We'll all my die. man. Caitlin? We'll all I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to kind of freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Thank you. Yeah, he was just concerned for us. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, I didn't mean... High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Uh, fine. Fine. Yes. Yes. I just want to go on record <laughs> and say that this is a bad idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Uh, Chris is gonna uh, kill me. Oh, what? There is someone with a sniper. Oh my god. There is someone with a sniper. Oh my god. Uh, this is why. He has blood all over him. What? Oh no. No! Who are you? He has blood all over. He, he's putting blood on him. Oh, I should have did the other one. Now we're all gonna die. No. What does that say? I, I can't read that. I, I can't read that. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. This is, to consume this is the old lady, right? Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Uh, see more, definitely. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. Who are we playing? Like, and look out for my cards. Who are we playing as? Ooh, like, we might be playing as, like, um, someone. 
um, that's in the camp. Chapter 2, Truth or Dead. What does that say? General State. Every, like, all the woods are blue. So, here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. Mm -hmm. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. <laughs> Thank you. Why would you say okay. that? Okay. I so, you listen to if I were a beer, where would I be? You're trying hiding? to get beer? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> wow, the kids really wiped this place out. <laughs> Mr. H loved his accessories. Ooh, a safe. There's probably beer there. <laughs> I think it's you, locked. You think? I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melon. <laughs> See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or... Well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. <laughs> oh, okay. I am playing as the. Uh, any part? Oh, right here. Harem Scarum! I remember that from the first one. Harem Scarum? Damage. Anything over here? Anything? Yeah, right here. Why is this crap? Some camp. I'll get that was not. Oh! Oh! Oh, what? No! No! I'ma die. Who was that? <laughs> Hello, old friends. Old friends? Oh, yeah. Yo, your eyes! Scare Jacob, 100%. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. <laughs> C 
clown mask. What? Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? It froze. Give it a minute. Oh, there we go. Put the mask on. Jacob! Emma? Hello? How did you hear that? Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. Clothes? No, they're they're funny. <laughs> they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, oh yeah, yeah he's scared of spiders. Wow. Oh. Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I oh because you want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's <sighs> no big deal. I. I. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. <sighs> oh, Where'd he go? He just vanished. Uh, oh, you use the spider now? Oh no. What else can we use for a party? What else? Wait. I wonder where this goes. You gonna kick it again? Locked. Yeah, yeah. Kick the one. What you, uh, what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. Whoa. Whoa. Done. Nice. <laughs> you should have called Jake, man. Whoa. The fucking mother lad. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um, <clears throat> human rights or whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. He's just gonna wait there. Oh, hey. What's this? Jacob! Q. Check this. Yeah, apparently, if you hit Q, you would have um, got these tutorial things. Yeah, here is. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Okay. There's all of these. Oh, no, they're not here yet, yeah. Oh. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just, let's, let's go. bags. 
Did a bear do this? Do I come back? Wow. What, nothing? My beard art saves the day, but you come back empty handed? Who says I'm done looking? Uh oh. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. And that code is definitely for the safe, so let me go back to the safe. Uh, let me go down, where is it? It's like down here. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, that's oh. fireworks? Fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think... Oh, I thought that said no, 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 no. shotgun shells. Fireworks. I know those are rockets. Take them. Definitely. We'll pull them. You know, you're Those right. are shotgun shells up there. Fireworks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hell yeah! Fireworks! Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob seems excited. Hey, I found these like torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <laughs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Aren't those for kids? Aren't those for kids? What? Yeah, yeah, and I used to be a kid. You used to be? <laughs> okay, um, look, just try one of these puppies. I promise you, you will change your tone. Not a chance. Pop, pop, peanut what? butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them yeah, in your mouth. Yeah, he's so excited. <laughs> look, come on, they're like the greatest snack of all time. All right, whatever. You know what? More for me. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can <laughs> put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. You don't know what Wilbur is? <sighs> Ladies first. Yep. Which way? Someone's gonna die. Someone's definitely going to die here. Alright. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. What are they doing? Shh. They, what are they, oh, they're charging the phones. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me guess. Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot. <laughs> I, I, sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm, I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't care either way. No, Ryan, I'm gonna do this for you. What is the podcast called? Bizarre yet bona fide. You're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, uh, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. He's always been cool to me. He's actually worried. Like, look, he's actually worried. So... So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Not. Boyfriend? <laughs> Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones? Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is Doria. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's. You're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. Nothing but net. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. Yeah, you. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. I'm sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Ooh. Oh. Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe he listens to that podcast. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? 
Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. <laughs> Something alright. I didn't see that. Oh. Huh. What's that sound? I think that's it though. Okay. <laughs> I think that's it. I guess not. I'm just walking awkwardly. Walk. Boo. How do I leave? Go here again? It's numb. It's a little bit like... I hit the wall climb down here. Yeah. Okay, Let's these see. are boring. How do I leave them? Oh, this, that was the door. Yeah. How about phone's almost done? Oh. Well, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. There's nothing fun. He's all about fun. Uh, go to the phones, maybe? I'll go down. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, picked out a major or. I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not? decided what you're going to do with your life. Hey, hey, are the phones done yet? Do the phones. Nice. Full up. It's <laughs> not full up. Head to the party. Hey, done so. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you.
They can get kind of obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Okay, this is... boy is laggy for some reason. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? I'll come back. The art there cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Shady Glade. Let's go this way. Are you okay? I'll be okay. Wasn't that bad of a fall. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. this joke about artists it's pretty bad oh yeah yeah you want to hear it sure okay here it is why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend mm, why not because he always finished in one stroke it's dumb sorry Jacob told me about it about golfers because of the stroke <laughs> thing yeah sorry I don't know <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers that makes so much sense those kids have filthy minds <laughs> oh. <laughs> just a bird just a bird oh I'm so sorry I've just been on a little just been a little edgy lately <laughs> Why? Why? It's probably nothing, but ever since the campers left, I've had this weird feeling that there's someone else out there. Like, watching us. Well, it's true. like... There are still campers here? No. No, it's... You know, just the little hairs in the back of my neck standing up, you know? Yeah. Well... It's probably nothing. You're right. Well, you're wrong. There's something really watching you now. Where's that bush? I want to go to it. But I kind of don't want to. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Oh, 
that is to me. Do me. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Abby is trying right. to concentrate. Sorry. Dumb idea. I just want to finish this. Take your time. Oh, uh, he, he feels so... Uh, like, he's sad. He feels embarrassed. Did you hear that? Hmm? Oh, no. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh no. Uh. Oh, look! Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> Ew. Oh my god, he's so... No, he's not! Uh. Oh, hold on. by a creature of indeterminate uh -huh. origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. What? Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? <laughs> Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, <laughs> pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's point, causing serious consequences. Okay, uh, hold breath. Come on. Oh, it, he's gonna die if I mess this up. Jeez. I was close. <laughs> he almost just mowed me to death. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy. Oh. <laughs> Is it actually a boar? Mm, I actually think it was a boar. They're usually pretty nocturnal, so you don't see many of them during the day. Oh. Well, actually, boars and hogs are both just terms for wild things. Huh. You learn something new every day. So that was the thing that was watching us? You're going to continue. Yo. It seems you're all so Guess we should head back. I swear I saw some. Hackett's quarry can't fire pit. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey Caitlin, guess what? 
Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up, what? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Still no service. Ah, uh, yeah. So, pretty boring. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, <laughs> but... Uh. All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hog of Hackett's boy? Yeah, the hog of Hackett's boy. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? Thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Ooh, fireworks. Oh. Oh. Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Oh pop, my God. pop, pop them in your mouth. <laughs> pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. <laughs> okay, we are going to shoot for oh, them. you're gonna shoot me over them? No, nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Uh, uh, not leaving me over guns. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me. Old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. Thank you. 
Right. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. Now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. Pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're next. Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil yeah, deck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Uh, how's things with them? Fun. How was your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Emma? Oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? How would I know what she wants? I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> That's, that's funny. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. Two things. Remember the spread, remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Uh, it's gonna be another tutorial thing. Here we are. Uh, we have uh, combat. Safety tip number seven. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. I mean... Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. This time for real? So it wasn't for real before? Nice shot. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shove and shoot, Jacob. 
I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, not with this freaking cannon dude. blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. No. <laughs> oh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Jacob doesn't like losing. Blam. You thought this was over? Oh, my God. Whoa. Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter pops. I think I won. There's so many copyrighted music in this. Well. Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like, normal truth or dare? <laughs> yes. So we can like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Um, There's no other Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um. Uh, Abby, oh my god, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. What? Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And I dare you to mm -hmm. kiss either Caitlyn uh, or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. Caitlin. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Caitlyn, like, come on. Caitlyn, shall we? Always happy to please. Oh, that one looks like. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Uh, Caitlin. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? Uh, Truth. 
Yeah, true. Let's see. Ever look up with Jace? Oh, hook up with Jace? What did you want to be? No, this one. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids. Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him, but. It never went any further because mm. he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Okay. Yo. Still love you, bud. <laughs> okay. My turn. <laughs> Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. It's only about kissing. Jacob? Or. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> well then. Um. Uh. Oh, no. Sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there. Obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. Oh. M. Seriously? Oh. Oh no. Guys. Oh no. Guys. Thank you, Nick. Why? You just He's good. Have you left? You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, oh. grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play part cheesy? What? No. She really ruined probably two relationships and friendships because of that. Do you not see those people? The devil's gonna come when the sun go down. What? How don't you see those people? This old lady. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So then, what more has been Who's found? Is it? Not suit up for some reason. You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? If I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. I think we're Ryan. I think we're Ryan and we get, no, we can't be. That's gonna be another copy of Trouble in Paradise. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid.
stupid. Where the hell am I? Uh, the noise cut out. Why would you just wander? Lily. There was literally no point. You could just stay there. It was literally just a dream. There's something out here. She's a dog. She is going to die. Oh no. Just go. No, go on. Just go. Oh no. No. Go! I can't see anything. Oh, go. Oh, that scared me. There was something right there. I saw that. this to yourself. This could have been easily avoided. It could have been easily avoided, but you did this. Oh no. I'm scared. Is that showing that someone's watching us? Oh, go up. Trail cam? Mm -hmm. Trail. Okay. That, that was literally all you had to say. Get away. I can barely see. I can barely see. This one. Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. Got a little intense. 
I think that game just got a little too intense for me. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. I guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, no, no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Uh, I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Is fallen for you? Uh, well. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Should we look? Mm -hmm. Is there another one? Oh, it's a bear. a bear, I think. It's too fast. <laughs> Whoa! What is that? What was that? Skinwalker, was it? Run. Bro, that was a skinwalker. Oh no, I missed it. I need to see it. Oh no. This is all your fault.
No, I, I had to hold it in longer. No, I thought he walked away. I was going to go. That's a fun game. I never wanted stuff. I just don't really flick a light. Can't make me scared to breathe. And if I fall, I'm not like that. And I'll be falling at your feet. Love's a blade. And it's cutting me so deep. Half the clothes. Now I've to burn the apple. If I wake up. Here next to you. It's only worth it if it hurts. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. Hey, that's mine! Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. I didn't even do nothing. How's it up there? Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah, oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. This part can be sun under there. What? What is that? Oh god, what was that? Oh, what was that? That was so disturbing. That was so that was that a dead body? Oh god. Huh. Those were the ago. people. Wonder if it was it near really here. is in the water. Oh. There's no 
towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Oh God, there was no point in this. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you know, could shake it out doggy style. Wow, wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> uh, ask Nick, no. Cannibal. Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! <laughs> oh, 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 I also oh, swear oh, that oh, like, Jacob oh, looks so oh, Hurricane Jake. Oh, I can't put my finger on like, the way you look. Oh, that's the same. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey, hey, quit it. Oh, stop being a uh, prop. Attack! Picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, for your like um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? I did not. What? Don't go over there. But like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, yeah, he was one of that too. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on you, Vic. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so you noticed that too, huh? 
So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh, my gosh. We gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Uh, Dylan, it's just sitting there. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? Where's Nick? Someone's gonna die. Someone is going to die. Oh no. for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. He doesn't have any gun or anything. He's just gone. Please 
say it is. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, no. Hello? Abby? Fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, he's helping. God, son of a bitch! Probably good. He was probably gonna be good. Um, whatever, I guess. Whatever. Oh, maybe that guy is the guy that comes here. Seems like just a blink, and you're back maybe. to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Oh, the star. Stars, stars in the night sky. A Jacob Beacons of light. Dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Yeah, I think it's that. Fear of despair. Guy. Trust in the light. And with it comes Maybe clarity. this is even part of the story. And sometimes. It, it probably is. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? See more. And then he went after Jacob, yeah. What was that? Was that Emma? Back to it then. Back to Hackett's quarry. Back to Hackett's quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Ooh. Interesting. It was horrible. It was... It, it was... I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... 
the, the huh? hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? <laughs> He's bleeding so much. Abby? Yeah, yeah, she's okay, dude. She's Is right over there. Is it the same thing that attacked Max? It could. Yeah, it could me. be. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Sorry. Sorry. Come on. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? You're an idiot. You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. Dylan did Dylan didn't appreciate that. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I can barely see that. It's probably be Jacob or something. Hey! Got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Brian! What if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. I could have shot. Holy him. shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Where's Emma? Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, I I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch! Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Here, guys, you're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. 
There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risking another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Just go back in the lodge. Oh my god. It's cool. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So. There's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the tree house, fellow explorers. Why not? So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Uh, up here, definitely. <laughs> Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Yeah, am I able to finish this, uh, get an ending today or not? I'm too deep in that. I, I want to try. Because I don't want to have like five minutes for part three. You know? What was that? I don't like that. Just go. Just go. This is where we're heading. 
not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I'm so lost. Uh, Jacob's problem. You know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a, in a wedding dress or something like that. Look, he actually considering it. But hey, here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. There you go again, yeah. Yeah, well, we're here again. Uh, we're not here again, we're at the treehouse thing. Um, sure. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Okay. Uh, what? Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place... Seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Open the trap door. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for a Oh no, she's gone. She's dead. I should have just went through the wall. She's dead. There was so much blood. There was so much blood there. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh, man, I could eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> oh, a different car. Oh, and that showed Emma and that thing. It literally predicted it. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. So it predicts I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Froze again. There we go. This one. Optimistic. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Damn. What did that say? Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. It's a Dylan. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Okay, Emma's injuries are terrible. Yeah, you don't know that. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. <laughs> you mean 911? <laughs> Who says 911? 911. I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. You call the cops. Cops with guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say 911. What's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there, or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us <laughs> right now, and we really need backup. What? Yeah, yeah. That's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. You sure you didn't just hang up? Well, did you hang up? <laughs> How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you <laughs> slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, <laughs> you broke it. I did not. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. <laughs> Is it good? You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head? Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What, what weather, Ryan? Maybe it was the bears. 
bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Look at it. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Give her the gun. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You man. don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. Keep going, he's all No, fuck that, I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's, it's not gonna happen. What are we even, what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. You give her yours. Dude, why don't you just give her your gun? I can't believe you're being such an asshole. <laughs> right back at you, Buster. Seriously? Is this worth fighting for? No, not with your argument. Oh, okay. So now you just want to win the fight. Not cool, man. Not cool. Ryan doesn't want this side of you. Am I interrupting something? No, uh, the sun's about to come up, maybe? It looks like it. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Okay. Oh! Strength. Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into a... tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose... There are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Uh, is it frozen? power, tapping into a, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see, and as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Yes. Let's see more, let's see more, let's see more. Oh, that's Nick. In that big guy. Oh. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Okay.
Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Okay, I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding on the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Stay here. I'll check it out. Uh, don't go upstairs. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. <sighs> this is like a whole movie where you get to choose anything. Reminds me of like um, a high school Markiplier or like in space with Markiplier. It's quite a watch. Cable. Good or bad? Uh, that, that wouldn't hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Sorry, Nick, what what are you saying? Hey, I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. Uh, Nick, I'm I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm I'm really freaked out and it's just not a good time. Yeah. 
to read. You're hard to read. Wait, what? You're not even listening, are you? No, no, I'm. I'm wow. Well, yeah. I think I was that boring. Gosh, you're hurt. I, I just want to make sure we're safe, okay? You made Abby feel guilty. What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Okay, and then this is where this comes in. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Run! If he's actually like trying to help us, then no, because he literally just slammed him into the ground. Yeah, he's not. Oh, Dylan. So the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their oh, no. player and everything, and, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at kick camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology giveth and it taketh. Oh, no! So, is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? The camp radio? No, like, uh, DJ or music, or something. Oh. Um, oh, no! Yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in, um, quantum physics. Come on. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a... science guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. I'm, I'm s I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. How's it going? Like, literally, there is a monster right there. Bro, I should have said, uh, I don't, I'm not sure about this. Didn't know there was gonna be that. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna die, aren't we? 
Oh my god. Yeah, everything should be fine. Everything should be good. Everything is alright. You know? Everything's good. Everything should be so well. Everything is fine. There will be no problems here. All good? Yeah, I'm all good. Be calm, please. All good? Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Oh, Rhino. And the noise. It just cuts out for no reason. No goddamn reason. This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took, took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay, okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. Yeah, how do you know this stuff? How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The, the tech, technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easy. Like, climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power-up. Um, but that's where this comes in. That's my... It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kinda janky looking, but... It's worth giving a shot. So... We can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. If you got this chapter, I'm okay. gonna stop it, if it doesn't end that the Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they, they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, uh, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency, S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. <laughs> Did I do good? Was that? Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. Oh my but... god. Oh god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, that's the thing.
Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say launch? I don't know. Two males in the radio shack in the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Now. Yes, Tom. Holy shit! They're talking about us. Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. Oh no. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Hey, hey, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay. okay yeah. <laughs> fuck you! I, I I didn't know what I saw, but you, you saw something, and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me. I forgot. I mean, the, I, the guys came on the radio. <sighs> no, someone's gonna know. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck! No! Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get in here. Cabin now, go! Oh no. Oh, oh no. fuck, dude. Oh no, something bad's gonna happen. They're gone. Path up, dude. Oh no, this is. This has to be the last chapter, right? We gotta kill it. We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. It's I a don't think a gun's wolf. gonna cut it. You gotta go right here. Oh, shit. You got a better idea? If it's got hearing, like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched what? feedback loop and crank it to the max. And uh, I mean, it would hurt like hell. But as dog. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. Uh, I forgot to turn subtitles again. That's my bad. Ojin, oh, hurry. Come on, hurry, let's go! Everything is right. I did everything right. Oh, crap. No. Hold the wire. 
Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go, quickly. Speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Crazy. Is it safe? Uh, okay, huh? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, he chased us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What's going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so. Oh, God. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's that? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? Oh. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Who's that? Was that Emma? leave it there i think that's a good place to leave it off there's yeah that was like six chapters um it took me three hours for those but uh in part three we will finish this ending off hopefully but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video 
Sub if you're new, I have my right, like if you enjoy, and comment your favorite horror game. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.